Hi again. I just wanted to stop and thank you for taking the time to go through these various video tutorials on working with bottom-up assemblies in Top Solid 7. I hope that you were able to learn a couple of neat new things within the Top Solid 7 environment. The, the following video is going to show you a few more tips and tricks that you need to know about when working with basic assemblies. There will also be a sneak peek into working with mechanisms. Now, this video will not teach you mechanisms, that's for a future tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Okay, just to follow up at the end of this tutorial, I want to hit on a few more points. So where we left off, we just made a repetition of our spring clips. The plane is still visible on the screen, and I'm going to go ahead and make it invisible, but I want to show you a few ways to do that. You can, of course, right-click on it, and you'll see hide. This is probably the easiest, most direct way to work. You can also go to your Entities Manager and go to Planes and hide it this way. Perfect. From there, I want to hit on a few other points. Remember, we had dynamic assembly motion, but m notice as I move this, my mirrored components don't update until I'm done moving it. And this makes total sense, actually. This is the problem of dynamic assembly motion when you repeat components, because when you repeat the components, the software doesn't know that the intention is that those repeated components should also update dynamically with the rest of the motion. Also, you'll notice as I'm moving this, while it's representative of the type of me uh, mechanism here, it's not really accurately describing it. Now, in a future tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use mechanisms. But just to kind of give you an idea of what's to come, I'm going to go ahead down into my basic, basic mechanism folder here and show you this. There's the same assembly, but it has the mechanisms described. And what does that actually mean? Well, it means this. If I start spinning this, you can see that the threads are actually engaging and closing my clamp or opening my clamp. Pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please check back soon for new tutorials on blog.topsolid.com.